Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to another Decamp Boutique video. Today we have a review of Dior Homme Parfum. This month, I'm gonna be doing a lot of designer winter slash fall type fragrance reviews. So the first one of the 12 would be Dior Homme Parfum right here. This beast, beast of a fragrance and pretty much the only one that I enjoy from the whole entire lineup. And before we begin, let's start looking at the notes on fragrance again. We have top notes of orange, iris, mid notes of rose and leather, Base notes of ambrette, cedarwood, sandalwood, and oud. So judging by the notes, it's a pretty heavy sounding fragrance. And it is. In fact, it's the heaviest designer fragrance out there on the market right now. There's no designer fragrance in the world that smells as strong as this one or perform nearly as strong as this one. So the smell of this super strong rough leather. If you remember Dior Homme and Dior Homme Intense, that has a little bit more focus on the lipsticky type of kind of almost chocolatey powdery-ish iris. This one has the focus on the leather. The iris is there. You still get the lipsticky kind of vibe coming from it, but the main thing in here is the leather and the dark woodsy note. It has a little bit of a powdery touch as well, which is okay because that's just the signature of this line, but the main thing in here is leather and it is strong, man. Oh, it's so powerful. Very, very, very powerful scent. This is for someone who just really loved the note of leather and iris combined. It creates this really nice, rich, thick, chocolatey-ish iris leather combo with a little bit of that dark, dark woodsy notes. It's an incredible creation, really. It smells fantastic. And this one to me, in the designer realm, smells very niche. This one does not smell designer whatsoever. It's very niche smelling. It smells extremely high quality. And for those of you who think the Home Intense and the Home are a little bit too feminine, this one is absolutely the masculine side. So if you think the Home Intense as like the son, this one is kind of like the grandpa. Not even the dad, it's the grandpa. That level of manliness. It's in this bottle right here. So that's pretty much it for the scent. In terms of recommendation, I recommend this for people who just really, really love strong winter fragrances. Especially if you like woodsy notes, leather note, iris, this one is absolutely perfect. The orange in here, I don't really get the orange to be honest with you. Either that or it fades away too quickly, so disregard the orange in this top note. But the leather, the iris, the woodsy notes, if that sounds appealing to you, definitely give this one a try. It is phenomenal. Now in terms of performance, this one is a monster, monster, monster. It, it doesn't come off. It's one of those fragrances that stays on with you forever until you literally wash it off. And this one has not really been recorded on record to have any kind of like definitive longevity because you normally take a shower before you even give this fragrance a chance to come off your skin. So in conclusion, 24 plus hours easily with the projection to match. This thing projects like a beast. Super far, one spray only, even half a spray would be enough to wear this fragrance to be perfectly honest with you in the dead of winter so performance on this one absolute beast mode next we have the versatility not very versatile this one is one of those scents where you really have to pick a nice time to wear it maybe a suit and tie event something like that or maybe when you're outside in the dead dead cold of winter you live in alaska like i used to live maybe that works well for you but other than that there's not many occasions where you want to wear this because the performance is just way way too strong and it will disrupt a lot of people around you and it's not the most mass appealing type scent as well so this is a not so easy one to wear in terms of season just winter not even fall just winter is the only time you can realistically wear this one next we have compliments and uh compliment of course not the most highly complimented fragrance ever it is really really strong and the smell again a little bit too heavy for the mass crowd out there this one doesn't really have the freshness or the type of light sweetness to really grab the attention of the crowd this one is like dark rich leathery so it's more for the connoisseurs more for us uh it's more for us niche lovers to kind of appreciate this type of scent so not the most mass appealing out there unfortunately next we have the price and i'm online right now looking to see if i can find the most um, updated price on this and in america sadly this one is not so easy to find even on ebay is really not so easy to find and sometimes even if you find it you can find it at like a hundred plus dollars for a 75 ml which is this bottle right here and it is for me it is worth it 
honestly because it does smell very niche it should be priced as a niche fragrance but it is on a more expensive side if you think of it that is coming from a designer house it is on a little bit more expensive side but definitely well worth it you're never in a lifetime will finish a bottle like this because you only need one spray at a time and you can only wear it in the winter time so if you spend money on this bottle you'll never ever finish it now if you don't want to spend money on this bottle and you're looking just to try it sometimes on our decamp boutique dot com website we do have this in stock it is limited because it is quite popular people do buy it so if you want to stock then you have to wait a little bit for us to have a restock on there but do your own parfum definitely super popular choice on the website make sure to check out the link below to see if we have it in stock at this moment or not but yeah that's the cheaper way of trying your own parfum if you don't want to fork up the money for a full bottle because in the US you can't find it you have to find it online this one is I think only Europe and duty free exclusive for the most part all right that's it for the own parfum thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next designer review peace bye